It started from a drunken mad idea. One night he said, why don't we do a, a nostalgia night? Get ranking, Cammy, Gary McKeff, DJ Bad Boy. And I was like, no one has ever ran a night with all these DJs about nostalgia. I sold 450 tickets in a 350 capacity event. I believe a multi join event, which brings back the nostalgia of the PC DJ era mixed with a bit of today. It's still alive, it's probably bigger than it was even back then. Different places all around Scotland got a hold of us, but the Bucky, never heard of Bucky in my life, just thought it was a drink. Obviously shout out to DJ Bad Boy here. At first you were kind of, what is going on here man, all these people have gone bonkers. We never seen all these PC DJ tunes as these big huge tunes that are what everybody knows. DJ fucking bad boy here, steaming a shite, about to tell you a story. So it was literally just speeding songs up and putting random stuff in and hoping for the best. On MSN, I would, I would make a song and then put the link up on, just saying download the link. And that was basically how my songs went out to people. <laughs> Upload it to Bebo, or you would go to MSN and then people would download it off LimeWire or Infrared when you used to put the phones together and then these shocking speakers that people had seen their Sony Ericsson speakers, they think one for one side and one for the other. It was actually DJ Rankin, I would probably say, that inspired me. When I was like 13, he was like the first on the scene. But they always say to me, like, oh, you started it, you started it, but we, we all had our own touch on it, do you know what I mean? Like, I started it and it was maybe kind of basic, and then somebody would take it, like Paul took it and made it better, and then Gary came in and it was just like influenced and it just got better and better and better, do you know what I mean? So we've all had a part of it, man. I'm pretty sure a lot of it was like Italian Euro music and off the back of learning uh, how to do these kind of songs, we actually turned it into like, a genre of its own. It's just a, just a mess of it, it was never written serious and then now we're here. <laughs>